Welcome to the Nowy Dive Team Report. I'm your host, Greg Martin. We are uh, talking about uh, DEMA and uh, all the great people that show up at DEMA. One of the things that I love about DEMA is running into some fun people. Uh, I've known this gentleman for a few years, although, you know, it's on, on the peripherals, okay? The artwork is what I've known for years and years and years. If you see this gentleman's artwork, you know him immediately. It's Wyland. And uh, he's standing here in front of us. You've been painting. Yeah, I've been painting Edema for years and years and years. I came in the first time with Scuba Pro, and, and Bob Talbot was signing posters, and I was painting. And eventually I brought in Guy Harvey, and, you know, he's supposed to be my competitor, but we're best friends. And uh, we did these giant, you know, ocean murals here. And, you know, art is, is a big part of uh, diving. And, and for me, you know, when I'm diving, I'm painting, you know, under the sea images that will reflect in my sculptures, paintings, the, the, the ocean murals that I paint all over the world. And Imprinting in the back of the brain, right? It really is. I'm, I'm seeing that in my mind's eye. And that's, that's uh, where I paint from, from personal uh, experiences, diving with great whales and sharks and giant manta rays, turtles, um, uh, beautiful reefs, all that diving has really helped my art to, to bring it to a place where not only divers, but people can see that ocean realm uh, and feel it deeply. You know, and you said something at the onset there that's a key to everybody. You are a diver. You're actually down there. I'm a there Hall of Fame diver. Yes, I'm, I'm a Nogi Hall of Fame, but I'm also <laughs> International Scuba Diving Hall of Fame. And you started out with a small little company called Nowie. That's what I understand. That's right. I, I got certified the first time with Nowie, and Nowie's a great organization. And, you know, we we got we to gotta build bridges now. You know, the whole world community, and particularly the, the, dive, the dive community, has to come together today for conservation of our, our water planet, you know, our lakes, our rivers, our streams and wetlands. You know, all that's critical to the health of the ocean because it's all connected. I just learned just now that you've produced a record that is just I'm sitting here listening killer, to some of dude. it. It yeah. really is. Blue's Planet. Blue's Planet. Uh, yep. Yeah. After I went to the oil spill, uh, I was invited by National Wildlife Federation to go see it myself. So I was there on the fifth day. And uh, from horizon to horizon, all I saw was oil. And, I mean, it was just awful. And uh, it really inspired me to uh, to want to do a documentary film about the terrible things that we've been doing to our planet in this century and and the oil spill was the final straw katrina the oil spill so so i went back to my home in the florida keys and isle Morata where i live and i wrote 60 original blues songs you know the planet's got the blues and uh anyway taj mahal the great blues Absolutely, man the yes. legend was staying yeah. at my house the following week so i laid out all the songs on my uh on my uh you know, coffee table in the guest house. Well, in the morning, he grabbed me. He said, you wrote this? I said, yeah. And Taj Mahal <laughs> says, Wyland, you write like muddy waters, babe. He goes, when are we going to record this? I go, well, just so happens I rented a Piety Recording Studio in New Orleans on the anniversary of the Gulf oil spill, which was, by the way, on Earth Day Eve. And uh, so we, we started recording uh, after the second weekend of Jazz Fest. So all the great blues players were already in New Orleans. And uh, when they heard Taj Mahal and I were doing this record for Wyland Records, they wanted to be part of it. So we had 38 blues artists bring this music that I wrote. We recorded 48 original songs in five days in nice. New Orleans. Yeah, nice. so people were feeling the cause behind the music. And, in, and we did three records and three documentary films that are all narrated by Dr. Sylvia Earle. Her, her deepness. Her deepness. Yes. Yes, indeed. Let me, let's go back to the art for just a minute. Sure. Um, You've been painting a long time. I mean, you you haven't painted any 50 small... 50 years. I'm 60 now. Any small number of paints over the years. I've painted the what, largest murals on the planet. You have, but mm -hmm. what keeps drawing you back to standing here in front of that canvas and, and creating... I mean, this is a, this is a, a wonderful artist. artist. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I, I'm a pure artist. I've been an artist since I was four. I'm 60 now. I turned 60 this year. Congratulations. And, uh, yeah, art is inside you. And, and for me, it's about art, but it's also about conservation. Because when you, people see the beauty of nature, they, they learn about how maybe, you know, they can take action to be part of conserving the beauty that is still left in, in the world. And we have plenty of it, you know, but it's all about water. For me, it's all, I'm a water science, so I'm really concerned about what we're doing to our water. Absolutely. You know, there's a water crisis. It's worldwide. Uh, the climate is changing, and it's real. And uh, we really, uh, I'm very positive and hopeful, though, that this young generation that is coming up 
is really beginning to take action. And what I tell people is you can do three things. you got to learn everything you can about conservation and uh, protecting our environment. And then you got to share that, what you know, what you've learned with everyone. And then you got to take action. If you do those three things... You could be a world changer. You can't just learn about it. You got to step in. No, you got to step up. You got to do it, and and that's really empowering, you know. So right now, the Wyland Foundation and our partners we're bringing the Wyland World Water Pledge, and what is that? That's a ten-year program that we've designed to inspire people to be water wise. All seven billion people on the planet. That's really what it's going to take to do small things to uh, to ensure that we have clean water and healthy oceans. We got to protect, conserve, and respect our water. Water is life, and every drop counts. And that's what I'm focused on. If you don't have clean water, you can't save the manatees, you can't save the whales, the rainforest. Water is the key to all life on Earth, not only for, for the beautiful animals and the plants, for us. So think about it. Without water, what kind of world do we have? So we have plenty of water, but we need to take care of it. Kind of sound like her deepness to yourself. Uh, Her deepness has affected me. Uh, She's been on the Wyland Foundation board. Sylvia Earle has from the beginning. Uh, Lloyd Bridges was the first member. Uh, Dr. Greg Stone. We have a beautiful board. A small but mighty foundation, the Wyland Foundation. If you want to learn more, go to wyland.com, and you can learn what we're doing, and uh, we'd love to have you on board as, as a voice. The other thing you can see here with my art is this is the Ocean Artist Society. This is David Dubelay. This is uh, Eric Chang. Uh, this is painters, sculptors, filmmakers, and photographers, artists united for oceans. So we have 400 members now. And when we speak with one voice as a group, we can affect a half a billion people. And it's beautiful artwork. In, in, Isn't it in, cool? Yeah, it really is. Well, I love these artists. I just wrote a book called Don't Be a Starving Artist, so I'm making sure I give them <laughs> one. Because, you know, um, my real focus is, is sharing my art with young people and kids. And, and trying to empower them to be ambassadors for the planet through art and science. So that's that's what I'm most proud of. I've painted with over a million kids in the last 38 years in, in uh, all 50 states and 100 countries around the world. So I, I'm out there with my art. I'm trying to make a difference. It'd be nice to see a painting in another 60 years. Yeah, right, right, right. There you go. There you, there you go. go. There you go. Well, well, if you're interested, again, Wyland. Dot org, Wyland. Com. com and uh, you'll find my foundation there and everything we do. And uh, congratulations to Naui for being a, a really first class organization and has really uh, got people like me started out. There you go. And if you haven't checked out the artwork, please go on the website, do so. And uh, buy one. I don't want to have to get a real job. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I've never had to get a job. My mom's sitting right here, Darlene. And she said to me when I was 16, are you going to get a job? I said, I have a job. I'm an artist. There you and go. And she went for this. And, and she bought the line, she hook, she bought line hook, hook line, and hook sinker. Her in. Well, it's nice to have her on board, too, with you. Thanks, Appreciate Ray. it very much. Okay, partner. And, uh, you know, keep painting, man. I will. I'll see you guys uh, at DEMA or some other place, Wyland Gallery, somewhere in the world. That's this episode of Nowy's Dive Team Report. I'm Greg Martin. I will see you in front of a Wyland painting, and I'll see you underwater.